call it plays in the air. Head is the call. He said head, it is a tail. Did you hear that? I thought he said tail. What's going on? What, what, what? They're saying that Zapolu called heads. They're, they're giving the ball to the Packers. What? We have a problem. What Walsh is steaming. What a mix-up. My goodness. Evidently, they didn't hear Zapolu say tails, and the Packers are getting the ball. What's going on now? I think they're giving the ball back to the Niners. That's unbelievable. What a mix-up. My goodness. Well, they got it right now. Zapolu called tails. Now, that was just sheer chaos out there. I mean, look at Ray Nitschke eyeing up those referees. Nitschke is not a happy camper. You're kidding. Sick. Right now, the 49ers of the 80s wish they had the guy who played for them in the 90s to return the kickoff, Deion Sanders. But instead, it will be Don Griffin back to receive here in overtime, and Chandler booms another one high and deep. It looks like Griffin will settle for a touchback, and gentlemen, as they say, you can cut the tension with a knife. Well, this is the greatest game I've ever been a part of, whether it be a player or a broadcaster, and I'm sure it's true for Bill Walsh as well, who once led this game by two touchdowns. Oh, tighten up out there, Green! Come on, get out of there! Joe Montana, with the exception of that critical end zone interception, has been brilliant today. Montana fires. Wilson got it. It's a first down to Mike Wilson, and the Niners are on the move. Up, 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 get up and hit. Huh? Let's go. Right. Montana's got him on a sense of urgency right now. Look, in and out of the huddle a lot quicker. Horning and Taylor, all they can do is just sit there and watch. This has got to be agonizing for him. Montana now with 308 yard passing. He drops again. Throws complete to Dwight Clark. Wood makes another stop, but the chains move again. Guys, this is Montana at his best in big games. No quarterback in history has started and won more postseason games than number 16. Comports himself at all times in the finest, cleanest, most professional manner. As does cool Herb Adderley there. Locked up with speed, Sir Freddie Solomon. In now for Mike Wilson. Now first down for Montana, changing the play again at the line of scrimmage. Now the last time he did this, he went to Rice. And looking for number 80 again down the middle. He got it blasted by Adderley, but Rice hangs on. A huge game to the Packers, 23. We've got the excitement here that we look for. And like Rice said, they're in a semi-no huddle now, and that West Coast offense is wearing them down. That's right, Joe. The Packers aren't like San Francisco. The Packers don't substitute much on defense, and it's starting to show. Now Joe is coming out. Adam wants to come back in a hurry. But why hurry in this spot? The ball's at the Packer 23, already an easy field goal range. Why risk a turnover here when Kofor can kick it right now? Yeah, I don't know if it's smart. No, all you got to do is run break straight ahead of him and then kick it. Montana goes back to pass, and he has time. Throws for the end zone. Jack for the Packers of the 60s. Look at Lombardi. Oh, he's crushed. Absolutely crushed. Howard, look at this. It's a repeat of Super Bowl 23. Montana to Taylor. Splits Hall of Famers Willie Wood, 24, and Herb Adderley, number 26. A magical play to end this magical matchup of the millennium. One of the most exciting victories, and I think they'll be remembering this and talking about it for a very long time to come. But what happened here tonight happened. Deion Sanders crowding the line of scrimmage, perhaps a blitz. Now Deion will drop into coverage, and Bradshaw throws quickly. It's a floater into the corner. Lynn Swan, touchdown, and the Steelers win. The Steelers win it. The Steelers win. Lynn Swan comes up big, but wait a minute. One of the officials saying he was out of bounds. The Cowboys win it. What a finish. Dion expected some help, but he just got there too late. Swans ruled out of bounds. Safety Kenneth Gamp. Boy, is he off the hook. What a game. <laughs> Hold on. 
and the play is being reviewed. But where are What's going on now? Howard, the NFL brought back instant replay in 1999. They will review the play inside that tent. That's absurd. All I got to do is roll a tape. That's exactly what the referee is doing, and we'll take a look, too. Swan breaks to the outside, catches it. Hard to tell from that angle. But Mike, you got to remember one thing. If this game was played in the 70s, it would be over. The Cowboys would have won. That's a great point, Joe, but we have the advantage here. Look at it again from the top angle. Swan catches it. His foot looks like it's out of bounds right there. Now run it back. Wait one second. Run it right back. Look, at what point did he catch it? That's the question you got to ask. Bring it back. He has possession there. I believe his left foot is already down, which means that his right foot is the second foot. That's definitely a catch. This is the moment the NFL has waited for to validate instant replay in a game this big. Everyone on the edge of their seats, the tension etched on President Clinton's face. Well, let's see. Nixon is inaugurated when? Howard. Tomorrow. Richard Nixon Tomorrow, was right? president in the early 70s. It's a touchdown. A touchdown. The Steelers win it. It is over. It is the over. The ball is overturned. Touchdown, Pittsburgh, and what a thriller. The Pittsburgh Steelers of the 70s have defeated the Dallas Cowboys of the 1990s. They won't even try to clear the field for the extra point in this battle. The NFL brought replay back for critical plays in big games, but they could never have imagined anything this big. There was indecision on the call, but the replay clearly showed he was in bounds. There's the Millennium Trophy under constant guard. Very soon it may be the property of the San Francisco 49ers. The 49ers are huddling on the sideline. Let's listen in. The boy is going to party tonight. Well, five seconds left. Not much the Steelers can do now. The 49ers will most likely squib kick, and that will be it. Ray Wershing lining up with the kicking team. And they do kick it short. Loose ball. And that one finally got out of bounds with two seconds left. Steeler ball at the 46. There's not a whole lot that Chuck Knoll's going to be able to tell Terry Bradshaw at this point. Well, knowing Chuck Knoll, he's probably keeping it short and simple. Bill Walsh encouraging the troops. Jerry Rice and Joe Montana have done their part. Rice having an unbelievable day. And, of course, George Seifert's defense. Boy, did they play well. Brilliantly, really. But can they hold them for one more play? The Steelers and the 49ers, the NFL's two greatest dynasties, now standing on the threshold of history. The Steelers break the huddle. The fans are in an absolute frenzy. Saul Reynolds shows blitz. Ronnie Lott ready to go. Bradshaw, last play of the game. Here we go. Bradshaw drops to throw. Looks over the middle. It's deflected. Oh. Tipped. Oh, no. Franco out of nowhere. Franco's got him. No. <laughs> Not again. Oh, my. Franco helps. seen anything like this not even Times Square on New Year's Eve 2000 you're looking at part of one of the most extraordinary scenes I have ever witnessed now let's just listen for a moment Boy, I, have, I have goosebumps like golf balls on my arms and the MVP of the game will go to the man who once again salvages victory from the jaws of defeat for the Steelers Frank Gull Harris and I think they'll be remembering this 
the post game in a moment.